Hey, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Michael, and I'm a Wi-Fi chip designer. I'm also the co-founder and co-CEO of Morse Micro, a fabulous semiconductor company uh, based here in Sydney. Uh, and on the uh, right-hand side here, sorry, you can see our first uh, Wi-Fi chip. So this is a Wi-Fi Halo chip, uh, which reaches uh, over a kilometer and can last five years on a single coin cell battery. Um, and as many of you probably know, like Wi-Fi was invented right here in Sydney uh, just over 20 years ago. Um, it's great to see some of the original inventors sitting in the room here tonight. Uh, <laughs> um, and, and today, Wi-Fi is found in many billions of devices, uh, mostly smartphones. Um, but that's about to change. Uh, the Internet of Things is here. Uh, we're starting to see hundreds of millions of devices being shipped, uh, all connecting wirelessly to the Internet. And, and that number is only going to go up over the next couple of years, with analysts uh, saying uh, or thinking of numbers of tens to hundreds of billions of units in the very near future. Um, the problem we have, however, is that existing wireless technologies were not built for the Internet of Things. They are either not secure, or they uh, are too power hungry, or they're just not scalable. And that's what we're fixing at Morse. First of all, we're building chips that are inherently secure. Second, we're building chips that are extremely low power. We want chips to last for five years on a single coin cell battery. But most importantly, we're building technologies that scale. We want to be able to connect thousands of devices within a kilometer range of an access point um, and have them work spectrally efficient. Uh, that's the only way we're going to get to many, many, many billions of devices. Um, so how does this compare with other technologies? Um, it's a bit of an ugly graph, and I thought maybe a technical audience would appreciate the logarithmic scale graph. Uh, <laughs> but it basically compares the, the Morse Micro technology, whoops, which is um, this one here in the black, uh, with a few other IoT technologies. And on the x-axis, you can see the range in meters. It's going from 10 meters up to 10 kilometers. On the y-axis, you can see the uh, transmit efficiency expressed in kilobits per millijoule. And so what it basically shows is that the Morse Micro technology is the most efficient technology from about 20 meters range up to a kilometer in range. Um, it also, for example, shows that if you compare Wi-Fi Halo at about 100 meter range with uh, LoRa, which is sitting here, uh, that it's about 70 or 80 times more efficient. And so the more efficient your solution is, the longer your battery lasts. And this is how we're doing it. We've put together a team of 21 Wi-Fi experts. Um, my co-founder, Andy, and myself have been working together since 2010. And before founding Morse, we were building the Wi-Fi chips that went to every single iPhone. Professor Neil Westy was one of the original investor, uh, inventors of Wi-Fi. Um, together with uh, David Skellern, he founded a company called Radiata, uh, which built the world's first 802.11a Wi-Fi chips. Gordon was the founder of Tagle, which is one of Australia's most successful uh, IoT startups. David, he's been writing the Wi-Fi standard for the last 20 years. He's a true expert uh, on, on the standards. And our VP of sales, Kevin Daly, was one of the first sales uh, people at Broadcom. And he's been selling those Wi-Fi chips that Andy and me have been making since 2010 into the US market. And so we're not building just IP. We're building single chip solutions. And we're also selling these chips. We've got, at the moment, um, 33 customers in our sales funnel with which we'll, we're deeply engaged. Um, and those customers are ready to start buying hundreds of millions of chips once we turn this into production volume. Um, and so what we need to do this or to achieve this is raise uh, a Series A round um, that will allow us to uh, move this into production, scale up our sales team, and put the engineering team onto the next technology node so that we can go even further, even lower power. Um, so if you'd like to help us build a bigger, better web and build a little bit of magic, then please come and have a beer with me after this talk. <laughs>